Hi, I'm Sandra Ann Taylor, and I'm so excited to be bringing you my new book, Your Quantum Breakthrough Code. I'm so happy about it because it came to me in a really special way, and I want to share the background of that with you now. I was a practicing therapist in a psychological practice for about 25 years, trying to help people overcome their fears and anxieties, trying to find happiness, self-confidence, and self-esteem, and to make their lives better because their personal energy resonated at a much higher and magnetic vibration. Well, I have to tell you, I've been using those principles in my personal practice and in my books for the last 25 years. I've been writing books for about 15 years. My first book, Secrets of Attraction, talked about the universal laws applied to love, sex, and romance. In my books, I've always tried to explain how the laws of quantum physics supported the human experience and how we can integrate that into our daily lives to change what we manifest, what we achieve, and what we attract. Now, these principles have brought huge changes to the people I've worked with over the years. And I have to say, I'm very happy with the changes once people started self-honoring techniques and changing their thought resonance and really understanding how their beliefs impacted their personal energy field. These were dynamic changes, and I was really happy with the results. However, I have had some clients where they would hit a wall. They would just hit a wall, and that happened to a certain client named Peggy. And I was working with Peggy, who had come a long way. We were working on self-esteem issues, comfort, and real confidence in social situations. And what we worked on was significant, and she had achieved a great deal. However, she was still hitting a block where her sense of confidence at work was concerned. She needed to see herself as more capable and more interactive with the other people at work. And I was thinking about Peggy's situation one night as I was falling asleep. And this is where the magic happened. I simply said as I was falling asleep, there must be a really easy way to change the dynamics of a deeply coded system. I wish that I could find out what this easy way could be so I can teach it to Peggy. And those were my last thoughts as I fell asleep. Well, that night I had a dream. I had a dream in which a man came to me and told me, this is what you want to teach Peggy. And this is what you want to teach others who are having similar problems. And what he described to me was a technique of decoding negative patterns, beliefs, and deeply indoctrinated habits, and coding a whole new set of beliefs, habits, optimism, self-love, and honoring. This is a huge shift in people's personal resonance to change from self-loathing and self-criticism to self-honoring and self-love. It changes also what we attract from the universe and how we experience the world. Now this dream that I received was very technical and was very detail-oriented. The man in the dream told me about two positions that a person could take while saying their decoding and coding statements, similar to affirmations, but energized and amplified by the position itself. The position is very simple. The decoding involves putting your two fingers of your right hand and your two fingers of your left hand on either side of the sixth chakra. Then close your eyes and raise them slightly as if you're looking at that point with your eyes closed and say your decoding statements, which we will have a sample of in another video. The coding part of the process is very similar. However, it uses just the first two fingers of the right hand placed directly on the sixth chakra. 
Again, you close your eyes and take a deep breath and look upwards at that point that you're touching with your fingers and say your coding statements, the statements of the new emotions and qualities that you intend to be true for you. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Well, it is. It's amazingly simple. And interestingly enough, that's exactly what I asked for just before I fell asleep. Something easy that Peggy could do to shift her consciousness, her beliefs, and her view of herself and the world. Now, when I woke up after that dream, I wondered, how does this work? It seemed so simple. But after thinking about a lot of the quantum physical principles that I knew about and the energetic laws of brain chemistry, I realized that a lot was happening there. In the decoding process where you put your fingers on each side of the sixth chakra, the energy center that is right here between the brows, what happens is that the energy runs from your right hand into your brain, changing the neural pathways, and then back out the left. In fact, the end of the decoding process itself has a visualization where you see the old codes moving off to the left. And then, when you place your right hand on the chakra and direct new energy and new codes into your mind, you are starting to create new neural pathways, pathways of confidence and success, and pathways of optimism about yourself and your future. Now, another element of the position is raising your eyes while they're closed. One thing that happens when you raise your eyes, even when they're closed, you go automatically into the alpha level of brain frequency. Now, what exactly is that? The alpha level of brain frequency is the most creative level. It is actually 7 to 14 cycles per second. And this is way where we are most creative, where we can meditate, where we can program our future, and it's where a lot of our dreams happen. Now, the alpha level of brain frequency is where we can align our intentions with our subconscious mind most easily. When we're in beta and worried and thoughtful and analytical, less of what we want to happen happens. The problem is most of us live in beta, constantly reacting to the same old negative codes that drive our lives forward in directions that we don't necessarily desire. And that's why I believe I was given this dream, to help Peggy and anyone else who wants and desires to change the direction of their life, to release the negative codes of the past, the codes that have been hidden and maybe even unknown to them all along, and yet have been a true directing factor in their destiny. Now, I call my book The Quantum Breakthrough Code because I believe you can break through these codes. And this process, as simple as it is, is very direct and very complete in and of itself. It has led to many, many successes, and Peggy was one of them. She went from being a person who had trouble holding even small meetings at work to someone who directs huge conferences and now holds an executive position. And also many, many people and clients who I talk about in the book who've had wonderful success. One of them is a person named Bob who was a wonderful man, is a wonderful man, and yet he had so much trouble attracting real love. In fact, I would go so far to say as he lived a life that he was unloved most of the time. In spite of being married and having relationships, the people he attracted really actually just wanted to use him. However, after the decoding of his patterns of self-thought and patterns of belief that he could only attract women who used him, and coding self-love, and coding deserving of a fully present woman, 
he is now engaged to a wonderful, truly beautiful woman inside and out, someone who shares his values, his ideas, and has compassion for him like no other woman in his life. And so many other stories I'd love to tell you about. Another person quit smoking. Another person got over a really debilitating driving phobia using the decoding and coding techniques of your quantum breakthrough code. Now I do have another video that displays the position and uses some sample statements for the decoding and coding process. Check into that and also check into the book, Your Quantum Breakthrough Code.